Alrighty, welcome back everybody to the Pillars of Cypetia, where we last left our adventuring group. You all had uh, summarily assassinated the queen, um, <coughs> stood around for a little bit trying to decide what to do, decided, eh, better to just leave, left, trapping a number of priests inside a tiny hut. And walked out of the city. You made a stop at a uh, Outfitters on the way. Uh, you picked a couple things. Um, on the bridges just outside the city, you were attacked by a couple of uh, drowned and water beings. Uh, you were able to defeat them without any real difficulty. And then you turned towards the main docks of Saipet. Uh, you're about a half mile outside the city as of right now. Night is falling. And the docks are just ahead. What do you all want to do? We should stop and let Azazel put on his armor. Put it on, Zamet. You're useless without it, apparently. I, I'm... i Okay, fine. <laughs> and, uh... Five. Five minutes later. Yes, it's going to take the next five minutes putting on his armor. Thank you. Um, I just want to oh, just so immediately take it off when we get to the ship. <laughs> so we can perfect. take a nap. I say we start heading towards the docks. <clears throat> I'm down. Okay. I agreed. If we can't go back, to the docks. I mean, I guess we could. We just have to jump over the hole. <laughs> Yep. Oh, oh, oh. What you made. It wasn't the the split on this side of the... Yeah, it yeah. was. You're right. Yeah. I think so one was the to way. the mainland, just to... Towards the next little island that would eventually take you to the mainland <coughs> in a couple days' walk. So a boat or a couple exercise? <laughs> Do we have the money to, to pay for a boat? Yeah, someone has money. <laughs> hey buddy, how are you? I like throw me under the bus like that. Okay. <laughs> you ain't gonna remember scared. you have money. I'll remember you got monies. No, we'll throw <laughs> under the boat like that. Exactly, that's what brothers are for. <laughs> I was only told to protect you. Where are we at right now? Told to you're sure you didn't spend a all your money. couple hundred yards from the dock itself, the actual split is you and another couple hundred yards behind you. <laughs> so you none of them saw what was going on and rushed over. Nope. You, wow. you guys were definitely, because you guys were on a bridge oh. heading over. So all said and done, a <laughs> quarter mile away, um, not easy sight range. Even if they did, Night they Night is falling. It is care. still raining. It's not pouring How's anymore. How's the water? Um, Choppy? Is it splashing onto the bridge? It is not splashing onto the bridge. It is slightly choppy, <clears throat> calming steadily. Water re is receiving, water line is receiving, I'm assuming. Uh, where you're at right now, it doesn't look like the water really rose okay. much. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you're far enough outside the city, um, and you are on elevated bridges. Okay. You're right. you're a good like 20 feet above the water <laughs> right now. Um, mm. To account for tides and all that stuff. Correct. Okay, I got you. What does it look like that's going on in the dock? <clears throat> uh, so as you're looking over, it does look like there's um, some people moving around. Um, there's, it looks like there might be one capsized ship. Um, it looks like there are a couple of ships that have uh, run into each other or run onto the dock. Um, all said and done, you see about 30 ships in the dock right now. It looks like there's room for probably another 30 or 40 more. It looks to be about half full. Salud. And uh, you do some, see some people moving around. Um, no one from where you're at seems to be in any particular panic. You don't see any like fire crews running around or anything like that. Um, seems okay. like things have relatively calmed down and they'll probably deal with more of it in the morning when it starts to get light again. Uh, question. So is this just docks or do they have like housing slash inns for people who are on the boats? Um, they have from here you do see some buildings. Okay. <coughs> We'd have to you get would, closer. Yeah, you'd have to get a little closer. Um, okay. You would guess that they probably have Bunk or barracks style um, okay. housing, uh, like a, a, a <coughs> long house with a couple hundred just bunks in a main room. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, you would need somewhere accessible for at least the dock hands. Yeah. I say I we hit some docks. Sorry. For me? Go ahead. Nope. I was just saying I figured, <laughs> but wanted to double check. Yeah. So you all uh, continue on your way to the docks. Um, and you arrive just at the outside. Uh, no one seems to be <coughs> taking any notice of you. As you've gotten closer, you do see that there is what looks to be a main office. Um, and then there's a number of small stands um, that look like there's one at each wharf. Okay. Um, and you would guess that a representative from, that that would be the main spot that a representative from any given ship would be at. Um, none of them appear to be manned at the moment. There's probably someone in the main office. You also see that there is, uh, it does look like a, a large longhouse. Um, you would guess that there's bunks inside there. Uh, a couple other buildings, they look to be maintenance, um, shacks, sheds, things like that. Okay. And this whole thing is floating, it is not on an island. Okay. okay. It's on stilts? That's what you mean? Yeah, I mean, it's not on stilts and it's not. Because. There's also, on the bridges, they connect to sandbars, they connect oh, to floating okay. pieces, I they gotcha. connect to okay. small islands. This is floating, not an island. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I gotcha. Should we check out, see if we can figure out which ship would be the best? I said we go travel. in and talk to <coughs> the quartermaster to see exactly... What might take us in the general direction of where we are heading? Well, which direction do we want to head? Because that may be something we might want to think about. That's a good question, because <laughs> I think the person we were supposed to get the information for, we we killed. Yes. Yeah. Now, like I said, I know where three of them are for sure. A possibility of where one of them is. I might as well do this. And then there's though. another three that are unknown, and the person who may have known... So these my bad. I mean, these <clears throat> temples are these temples are manned. Yes, they have priests and priestesses and that kind of stuff. Likely, so we might be able to get the information from them. Also possible. So I would suggest we just go to the closest one. The closest known one would be make, mm -hmm. make the most sense. And then we can try and get that information before we decide to blow it up. They probably won't give it to us after we blow it up. It's a long shot, but the the other the other shrines might have the other shrine locations near them, or you know, close to them. But again, it's just a long shot. It's possible they have a map. We could tell them we're on a pilgrimage. We do have this writ. Yeah. We do have the writ stone. And, you know, we could still go with that thing that the queen asked us to double check all of this to see what's happening. She did, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Doesn't really matter yeah. if she's dead. Nope. They don't need to know that. <laughs> and even if she is, we could tell them that we're telling whoever the next <clears throat> king or queen is. Yeah. So we still have to solve this. This problem still has to be solved for this country. So. Sipe it. It doesn't matter. It can be. We don't have to do Break. Fair enough. <laughs> Does it need to be solved for this country, though? Like, truly? I mean, we could just let it drown in the ocean, you know, with the <laughs> wrath of the gods, but, you know. Sure. One god. One, one god. god. The rest of them don't give any nah, shit. Ah, that's right, that's right. The worst has happened to countries. Yeah, you can, mm -hmm. you can give this that news true. to, to sure. Father as to I why guess. the city of Sipet <laughs> is now completely underwater. <laughs> I will not be there for that conversation. <laughs> you want to tell him how you basically tried to kill her? <laughs> or mimic her father and then try and <laughs> lure her to a false sense of security. What was your? Why were you planning on going to the different temples and blowing them up? Essentially, him about that. he doesn't care. Well, um, I mean, if they don't have the protection I'm of their god anymore, telling, that kind of makes it easier for my armies. <laughs> this country's out of the water. But wouldn't you assume that they already don't have the protection of their god? <clears throat> well, when I came, there wasn't a storm on Sipet. <laughs> Then the storm happened. Okay. Then presented option. I mean, the the logic the logic is flawless. <laughs> <laughs> and 
<laughs> and this country is attacking your country, correct? Yeah. Okay. Can I roll a history check to, know, to see if I know that that's actually true or if he's lying to us? Um, well, you that. certainly know that they are at war. Which one instigated the fighting? You are familiar that these two countries have been at war off and on throughout the entire existence of Sipit. I think in a previous session we also did, he also did discuss that. Probably. That. Does your country have slaves? Uh, no. I'm all down for taking this country down. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we don't use slaves. We have no need for them. I mean, forced breeding, sure, but slaves, no. Yeah. No, all right. <laughs> heard of words. That's true. Real fun. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair. <laughs> Counted a lot when I went east, but you know. <laughs> and why were you two here? You were two. Oh yeah, we were supposed to. We were supposed to make a trade yeah. agreement with the uh, yeah. the the, the uh, former queen, if you will. <laughs> yeah. That didn't go over <laughs> well. Obviously. So, so I mean, does your father's company have a trade agreement with Delit? As of now, I don't believe so. Well, there you go. Where, where the heck? I think you might have a good word in with the leaders of Delit. That is true. As <laughs> might be able to speak on your behalf. Oh, well, that's my brother's department. I'm just here to... I mean, as would that be no a possibility? I mean... If, I mean... The, uh, the current head is my grandfather, so... All right, then. I mean, I guess a better question would be, is Delit open to trade? Yeah. Okay. That's a stupid question to ask. Hey, there, are some, there are some countries <laughs> that are close to trading. Or at least we're in Japan. But, but it's still a stupid question, brother. So my father not teach you anything. <laughs> no, he went off and did his own thing. Ah, oh, one of those. And didn't you spend two years in the family business after I left? Yes. Not with the family part of the business. <laughs> what exactly did you do? Uh, I did paperwork. Lots of paperwork. So they put you in the records corner? Yes. So oh, you're oh. smart! Yes. He uh, could fooled me. <laughs> he fooled a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, look at his metal hands. He calls them gauntlets. As Excuse me. Azazel looks at his gauntlets. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> gauntlets, should, huh? You should take some lessons from him. His look a little more refined. <laughs> Excuse me for trying him? to build these myself. If did you, you get kill a, him, did, we'll just watch. I have to know the story. Did you get a lot of paper cuts, hence the gauntlets, to protect your <laughs> delicate little fingies? Oh my god. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not serious. even worried that with a response. <laughs> oh, Azazel holds out a wing towards you. Need a dagger? <laughs> Tempting. The tips of his wings are basically dagger. The feathers are basically daggers. Might take you up on that later. <laughs> well, Oz, what more do you have to do in Sapetia? <clears throat> I mean, Sapetia, the country, or the Sipet, country. the city. Well, I mean, I still plan on fulfilling my mission. Hmm. What is that? The uh, pillars breaking. Make it easier for my army to invade. Then you don't think the queen dying would make it easy? Well, I mean, it'll still take at least a couple weeks for that news to reach the front, if not longer than a couple weeks. Um, if and even then, the, could we the, not bring the news to the front? Sure, sure, we could. Bring the news to the front, oh. move into Delit, get them a trade. I mean, I'm okay Agreement. with this. Can I, I the, unfortunately Can I see don't the know. contract that Father wrote up, please? Uh, yeah. And I reach in my, my pack and pull out the, the contract. What were you going to say, unfortunately, you don't know? Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to be able to find your friend. <clears throat> or Hawthorne's <laughs> friend. I think his friend might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was like a long time ago. It's very like could just be gone. There's one thing I've learned about the tree is we don't piss off said tree. We do piss off. If we can find her body, I can bring her back. 
Anybody that's been dead for a long time. I think I'd be more annoyed that you tried to bring up my chicken, my dead person. Skeletons. I'm disturbing the dead. <laughs> as long as the bones still exist. <laughs> and, you know, wood, bone, not that big of a difference. Sad. You know, so we still outside the quartermaster's office. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, just we, we just started <laughs> bickering with each other for a solid five minutes. <laughs> we're trying to figure out where the hell really, are we going. I really hope we're like right in front of the door. There's other people trying to get in, and we're just like, <laughs> so <laughs> the pillars. Okay, so we're <laughs> those assholes. Excuse me, no, they are closed for now. You have to wait. <laughs> Well, the... let us see if there are boats that'll take us to the nearest pillar or to what port would be the closest to the front line. Uh, well, the closest to the front line would be uh, probably towards uh, Opping. It's uh, southeast of us. Um, you know, if we wanted to go to the closest pillar, that's actually going to be at Grafe. And... Uh, Azazel pulls Where's out. Where's the nearest <laughs> Under the water, I'll show you. Half a way that way. Where's Grafe? Uh, straight south and just a little bit to the nice. Okay, okay got it. <laughs> she already wants her head. I will take your capybara so. with me. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, do we want to inquire about getting passage to... Both of those are the options there too. Yeah, I think. See no. And then once we once we find that, we can find a place to discuss for a little bit longer. Yeah, that would that would probably be ideal. Because what's the time of day? Is it? Uh, the sun is set now. So I'm assuming they, this place might be closing soon. So we might want to get to Europe and possibly get on the ship. You two, being from a port town, would know that this office will have somebody here 24 seven. Okay. Well, as we as also know that they would be running. 24-7 as well, even though there's a storm? Well, I mean, as, as long as there are people and okay. the possibility that a ship will come in. Okay. Because yeah. you're going to need yeah, someone yeah. to... Yeah, load not load. So you, you two would know that someone, at least someone, will be here as long as there are people. Yeah, at that makes sense. Port. You know, sure, uh, someone could run away, <clears throat> hence there not being someone there, but it's not yeah. like they would close, we'll put it that way. I gotcha. I'm actually going to pull off the contract for now because I'm going to look at it. Okay. He's stealing from you. Don't let it happen. He'll never give it back. No, as long as he was. Uh, All right, I'll walk in later and tell it. All right. <laughs> um, what does the surrounding populace look like? Uh, What's their demeanor? Sorry. Well, they are, I mean, they look like they are moving with a purpose. They all seem to be doing something, slash, um, it looks like, you know, they're finishing tying ropes off. Okay. They're. We're shuttling some supplies back and forth. So some Being of the... from a shipping town, yep. would I have the knowledge to help tie off some of the ropes? Yes. Cool. So I'm going to actually stay, because you guys can handle that. You don't need me in there, because, yeah, it's not important. So I think I'm going to stay outside and just kind of help <laughs> the people tie off some of the... And, and to give you <clears throat> to a perspective of this place based on your... in comparison to your city... Um, <coughs> So this dock of about 70 wharfs, um, able to hold, you know, depending on the exact size of ship, between 60 and 100 okay. ships, is um, the amount of, is probably one pier that your family owns. Shit. Much less the, and you, your family would have six or seven of these. Okay, that whole... 30 to 60 ships, roughly. No, uh, uh, 70, 60 to 100. Oh, 60 ships. to 100, okay. Yeah, 60 to 100 Sorry about ships. That. Okay. Um, and so your family would probably have six or so of these. Of these. Okay. Um, and there's probably 20 families like yours in that port city. Oh. Okay. So, while this is solid size, this is also mediocre eh. size. In comparison to the major, major trade hub that the two of you are used to from your home. Okay. Brother, come find me when we're done. When you're done inside. 
We'll do. Unless you're planning on staying outside, but just come find me. Alright. We'll do. So, let's do Felix first. Um, okay. Can I go to the one that has the least amount of people next to it? Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, least amount in comparison to its size, or least amount, period? Because there's a couple of sloops that look like they could be manned by one person versus a so, couple of a handful of galleons. Which so I'm assuming people are still 30. trying to tie these off, so the ships that are not being worked on, I would like to go to that general area to start tying off those ships. It looks like all of them have at least somebody. Okay, so the one that has the least amount of people, or you decide where. Okay, you're going... F- for a big ship, little ship, or let's go for ship. a middle sized ship. Okay, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> so you head on over and you just start grabbing rope and tying off, and or are you going to say anything to anyone who's going to? No, I'm going to start talking to the staff. Okay. What are you saying? You've got a uh, um, you've got a human male nearby um, tying off some ropes. Okay. And probably another six or so people currently working on this ship. Okay. It's one of the ones that has not run aground. Okay. So you brought me here for a purpose. What's your purpose? You saying that to, to the, the staff? Yeah. <clears throat> Fun. Okay. I like to have fun. What kind of fun are you looking for? <laughs> the best kind. Which way? <clears throat> okay. This is going to be an off the wall question. Which way does the wind fortune? Blow. That's not right. I think I get what you're asking. Okay. Hmm. East. Are your intentions good? Or <laughs> evil? Depends on who's asking. Humor me. You might agree. Your other may not. My other as in my brother? Other? No. Unnecessary. Most important to you. So due east, huh? No. Not due. Just the general direction of east. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you'll have to come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the rest of you have uh, walked into the <clears throat> main office here, and uh, there are a couple of people inside who appear to be uh, attempting to tidy up things that have fallen off shelves, shelves that have fallen off, um, windows that have blown out. Um, you know, it looks like this place got hit <laughs> by it's a, a heavy storm. Go figure. <laughs> Shocker. Um, <laughs> One of them does look up a uh, um, an elf. How uh, uh, welcome? Uh, what what can I what can I do for you? Who wants to be the head? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm, hold on, I'm trying to. I'm making sure I word this so I don't sound like an idiot. Um, we're gonna charter a boat. Ship. Okay. Uh, you'll have to talk to the captains. Okay, I just didn't know how how it worked uh, around here. Where I'm from, different different ways of operation. Yes, uh, each captain's in charge of their boat. Okay. 
can you at least direct us towards ones that are going specific places? Wouldn't know where anyone's going after here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. We, we handle the, the main maintenance. We, you know, direct them to places in the city. Um, but uh, we, we don't handle anything with the actual ships themselves. Sorry. How about lodging? Lodging, lodging, we can uh, help with. Um, you look, you looking for some lodging for the night? Yeah. Preferably. Yeah. Um, sure. I, I believe the Lung House has got some rooms. Uh, it, it's open stay, uh, or you could stay inside the city. Um, <clears throat> there's a, uh, you know, plenty of inns, plenty of taverns, um, plenty of food and drink. Uh, there's a couple of stoves inside the Lung House, but uh, um, no main food on site, and we don't have any. Certainly not after this uh, storm that we had. Uh, it looks like it is passing for now. Yes. And had this been a day ago, I would have laughed if anyone said a storm would ever hit us. But here it is and gone, so maybe it stays away and he knocks on the, <laughs> the desk. We just must remember to honor Sipit. Yes, yes. Hail Queen Sipet. Hail Goddess Sipet. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Not quite. Oh. Careful what company you say that in. Fair enough. Well, let's go to the longhouse and see well, if we can get lodging. Well, at least we Shouldn't you find out where the, like, if the captains are chilling on their boats or if there's this particular part or on a place where the captains might be hanging out at this time of day because he said they're in charge of their vessels but they might not be on said vessels they might be in a specific spot sorry I'm not here Just he said there was no drinking places so I guess it would be they might be on their ships I don't want a metagame so I yeah. appreciate your you're, interjections you're, you're, but also you're, you're, I can't you're, you're good with a, a little bit here and there things like that that's fine um, I mean I don't know I'm not there so well, and especially because you also have someone who also does know a lot about yeah. shipping and the like. Um, your your best guess is the captains will either be on their ships or uh, plastered drunk in the city. In the city? <laughs> you know, it's, it's possible that some of them might be in the longhouse, um, but the captains would likely either be in their quarters I on their ship we or could talk to in any other finer lodgings. And figure out where they're headed after this. Yeah, that's, that's what my thought was. And even if the captains aren't here, the second in command would likely still be around. That's fair. Or somebody in power. <laughs> somebody <laughs> will be in charge of each ship. Maybe the third, <laughs> but... Then we now have our own ship. We've just all commandeered them all. Hey, I mean, that's an fleet. option. We have a fleet. That's an option. My Always an option. That's an option. <clears throat> I wonder, are any of the ships here from your father's fleet? Uh, I haven't got a good look at them, but I'm going to check when you, they're out you, there. Definitely would not. Not because, because of the, the it's the lake. Yeah, Correct. The landlocked and then Correct. We, haven't, we haven't done They wouldn't anything. even charter any to get trade across the lake? We might have a flag flown. Possible. Um, less likely. Um, you would, your family would handle most of from Homeland to yeah. a major port along yeah. the main coast who would then charter over land to get to we contract that shit out yep <laughs> <laughs> which could be part of what you guys were looking for was to you know put up a flag somewhere here and then take control of a land route yeah. expand past <clears throat> just the water um, but you guys would be very familiar with the trading on the main sea in the middle of Chrysanthia um Less familiar with this little sea, which, you know, is still the size of the Red Sea. There's still a possibility, though, that we might know some of the crew that at one point in time worked with the Gallagher family. Sure, sure. Yes. You, you could definitely be... A middle, yeah. the small or something that's not nearly as dangerous as a crossing a major sea. And certainly a friend of a friend would be likely. Yeah. You'd, you'd at least know similar people. And they would likely be familiar with your name, if nothing else. Is there any news from the city? We just 
got in and saw this place and I know my companions are tired. A little too tired to be able to make it into the city tonight. Oh, uh, no, haven't haven't heard anything yet. Um, it looks like they might have gotten some fires under control over there, but... That is, I did see some lightning <coughs> strikes on our way in. I hope everybody's okay. Uh, so do we. So do we. Praise Lady Sipet. Praise Goddess Sipet. And uh, he's going to return to uh, helping his other companions try to set his place to rights again. Yeah, is it... When you say it's nightfall, how, how dark is it out? Is it like that kind of dark where it's hard to see just anything, or...? It, it is definitely low light low right light, now. Okay. So any of you that have low light or dark vision, you're doing just fine. Anyone with normal vision, you're struggling a little bit. Oh, perfect. I got my phone on my face. Because it is, it is uh, dark and the clouds are still very prevalent, so they're covering up any moon or stars right now. Maybe. Um, so they are lighting some torches, but some night turns. Just debating whether or not it would be better to go look for crews now or wait till the morning when it comes out. Well, they were just flying up ships, weren't they? So it might not be horrible to go ask a few before we go to bed. And then. My worry is if we wait till morning, some of them might be gone. Yeah, that's true. They'll be shipping off early, most likely. Oh, it might as well. It'll be worth our time then to go look. I mean, imagine that early in the morning. Yep. What did he say? Um, that, yeah, the ships will be out early in the morning. Well, not just the last cruise. Yep. Yeah. You speak more sailor than I do, so. A little bit. Uh, well, uh, Felix asked me to go grab when we were when we were done in there, so I'm going to go look for him really quick. I don't Felix. expect to grab it up and ask. <laughs> Am I still standing next to the person? Yeah. You know, he's making some rounds, um, tying off stuff, checking knots. Crazy. As, as you're watching, um, this is not a, a lowly deckhand. Uh, unlikely to be a captain, but um, certainly is, is more trusted to be out here and checking the knots and not okay. just doing a quick tie. You know, I've, uh, I've spent some time on the sea and never seen a freak storm rolling as fast as this one has. I and neither me on this, uh, certainly not on this sea. Yeah, I've heard stories that this sea is probably one of the finest seas to sail in. I wouldn't say finest, but easiest for sure. Well, it's probably easier than the seas that I've sailed on, so. Aye. So, who, uh, who captains this fine vessel? Fine. Ha! No need to blow smoke up me ass. <laughs> well, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt because you did get hit with a freak storm. True, true. Even then, not fine. Like hey. I said, easy sailing. It makes for raggedy ships, low maintenance, no need to worry about the water coming over the rail, so why repair the wet rail, aye? Aye. I mean... Captains are lazy. That's fair. You do most of the ground work anyway, don't you? Course. That's how they always get you. Well, I'm lazy too, so, you know. It's alright to be a little bit lazy every now and then. So where is this ship headed? In the, you leaving, or obviously we're not leaving tonight. Where are you headed tomorrow? Uh, nowhere tomorrow. Making some contacts. Bringing on some new, uh, new cargo. Probably a few new crew after this. What kind of cargo are you looking at? <clears throat> you don't mind me asking. Anything looking to head south. At south, huh? Right. How much would it cost to persuade you to go east? Well, how far east are you talking? What city's east of us again? My bad. I can't load up the map because of the crash of my computer. Aping. Aping. Which yeah. is south and it, east. It's yes. south, southeast. southeast. Okay. It, it, it is, yeah, it is. Both of them, both Graf and Aping, are very south. So we're here. Okay. Graf is there. Aping is there. Okay. Well, I mean, you headed south. Did you just veer off a little southeasterly towards Aping? I. Uh, I mean, if I if I could get you some people who could possibly help you work on. On the deck. Give a couple of your guys maybe a.
couple hours off while we're sailing. I'll throw in a couple pieces of coin your way. His eyes glitter just a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, it's not often that we take on passengers, but I don't see why we couldn't. Towards Aping, you say? Yeah. It's not, it's not too far out of our way. And maybe we see another storm that we need to move around, and maybe it just so happens to push us a wee might east. What's your name, friend? <coughs> Spithers. You? You said Spithers? Mm-hmm. The name's Felix. Felix Standor. A pleasure. A pleasure. Where are you staying tonight, Felix Standor? Well, you know, not really sure. I got a couple people, I believe, who are in the process of arranging that, but let's just say I don't put my faith in them for a reason. Rude. <laughs> wow. All right. Nice to feel. There's no metagame in here. Please be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Your well, character can hear a yell from the other side of the garage go fuck yourselves. <laughs> From the sky, echoes, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I really feel like I'm going to get slapped by someone. <laughs> the hand of a god is going to come down and wake I mean, he doesn't have to wake up. We could just leave him sleeping. Permanently. Permanently. I think they're, last I, I left them there in the quartermaster's uh, area. I think we might be staying in the longhouse, but... Well, I'll be t- retiring to the longhouse myself before too long, so maybe see you there. What time is you, what time you had to plan on departing? Day after, or the day after that. Like I said, got to take on some new uh, cargo, maybe a few new hands. We'll see how many people show up tomorrow. All right, well, we'll see. You got any more lines you need me to tie off here for you? You I might have just... Go ahead. I think this should be it. I just gotta make a final rounds, make sure they're all tied up squarely. Make sure none of the lovers screwed something up. That's fair. You mind if I uh, just step on your ship? I haven't been on one in a couple years, and I like the feel of, even though we're tied up, I just like the feel of the waves roaring through or rolling through. Gotta get my sea legs back, you know. Tread careful and die. Thank you, sir. At that point, I'm going to just flick him over a silver piece. He's going to continue checking and adjusting knots. <laughs> so the, uh, the rest of you exit the, um, the office, and uh, you're able to Relatively quickly, uh, spot Felix. Um, as are you heading up onto the ship? As he uh, begins heading up a gangway onto a uh, a moderate sized frigate. So, go over. It's a solid four master. Any weaponry on there? Do it? you want to get your brother, and we can go get lodgings for the night? Yeah, I'll go grab him. I'll meet you, you all at the at the longhouse. Sounds good. It's got a um, twin uh, ballistas up front um, and a uh, an arbalist mounted um, at the back. Okay. But other than that, no main weaponry. No spears or anything. No um, harpoon. Type. Not not okay. from the outside that you're seeing okay. right now. They probably have weapons somewhere on the inside for crew, but no ship weapons. So is there a captain's quarters, and is there a different to go down below? You're talking about a brig type or a galleon type ship here? Um, we're Radio. definitely talking galleon, galleon size and larger galleon than you're thinking. Okay, that's fine. So four masts. Yeah, yeah. I was just painting the picture in my brain and adding few more things to it yeah um, <clears throat> this is this is the size of um, the black pearl okay approximately um, can I try and make my way down below deck <clears throat> you can try 
So as as you are heading up the gangway, um, do what, what are you all doing right now? Um, I'm going to start heading towards the long path. Whoever wants to join me can. How far up is he just heading up the gangway? Yeah, he, he's taking his first couple steps onto the gangway. How far away is he from us? 50 feet. Easy calling distance. Easy jogging distance. I'll just call to him. Brother! What? We're done, we're headed to the longhouse. I know you wanted me to come get you. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. I'll see you inside then. Head to the longhouse. Alright. Hawthorne, same with you? Yep, same. Just keep on him. Alright. Oz will also go to the longhouse. <laughs> As uh, you all head inside, um, it is it is a large, big, large room. Um, it looks like there's definitely a few hundred bunks in here. They are four tall. Um, oh, they weren't kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's set to be able to hold, you know, twenty to thirty people a ship at. 60 to 100 chips. Is there any kind of corners that are open? I mean, there, there's lots of bunks that look like they're not currently in use. Not uh, bunks. Just anywhere on the floor that might be just like an open spot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's not crammed. Okay. Um, and the the pier is only half-ish full right now, so it means the longhouse is less than half full. Think of like a giant gymnasium with cots in it. <laughs> Stacked four tall. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm <laughs> yes. just asking like if there's an area where there's not cots yeah. set up. Yeah, there, there's there's a couple of areas that look there for cooking. There's okay. um, there's some stoves. There's some sitting spots. It, it is not just for sleeping, but for someone to be able to, for people to be able to stay in and, okay. and live in for a couple of days on their trips in and out. Just find the nearest cot that's empty and fall asleep. All right. <laughs> uh, pro- probably just use my bag as a pillow. I assume these don't smell very good. Not in particular. You got to go up to the fourth floor for those ones. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna find a corner kind of close to the fire and lay down at my bed roll. Okay. I'll just dive into the bunk about his. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kind of Hawthorne. I think I'll just pretend to be a tree at the front door. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's Someone fair. planted a tree. Good for them. <laughs> I didn't get uprooted by the storm. Good for you. <laughs> a strong ass tree. <laughs> I assume the trees that are inside do not get uprooted by storms. <laughs> no, he just looks like he got uprooted <laughs> by the storm. All right. Felix. Um, God, my tree wandered around, started talking to the villagers, and then just planted itself back after the storm. <laughs> so instead of going downstairs, I want to go to the aft part of the ship. Okay. Which is the back, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming it's facing the sea. Uh, or... Yes. Yes, it is. Cool. Um, so, I mean, as you step onto the deck, you see there's a number of lookouts. It looks like there's about ten people on deck, um, and each crow's nest, nest is okay. manned at the moment. All of a sudden, it looks like there's about fifteen. Um, you know that this would uh, typically have a crew of about forty on here. Did anybody approach me? No, not at the moment. Okay. So, yeah, I want to go to the aft of the ship. Okay. Where is... I'm assuming your moon and sun rises and sets like ours, east and the west, right? Yep. So, I'm assuming the moon is rising or we can't it, see it. Cause... Hidden behind the clouds. Because so, it's still very cloudy. Okay. The rain is now a drizzle. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to go to the back of the ship. I'm going to adjust, address, uh, adjust my hat. And... I'm just going to kind of stare out into the sea for a minute and let the coastal breeze and the mist just kind of hit my face and then I'm just going to apologize and say 
Where's my I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. Could have done something else. But the staff brought me here and hopefully it'll bring answers to questions that we had about it. And then, how uh, intricate, uh, Nick? How intricate is the Gallagher symbol? That's moderately. It's not too crazy. Of, I okay. It's hard to describe. It's it's not hard to re recreate, if you will. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> There's too many people watching. Are you going to carve it into the rail? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so at that point, I'll just head back. I'll get off the ship. And okay. Is Skimmer? Is that his name? Uh, no, um, Skiffer. Skiffer, okay. I'm assuming he's headed... I got Spithers. Sorry, Spithers. Is that right? Smithers? Spit Spither. Spithers, with a P. Yes. Okay, Spither. Spithers. Um... He's, I'm assuming he's no longer around the backside or the ship, around the ship at all. No, I mean, as, as you're glancing, you see him over there double-checking okay. knots still. So I'm going to go ahead and just head towards the longhouse, and as I leave, I'm just going to say, I hope to see you in the next couple days. And he'll uh, kind of raise an arm behind him, waving as he's adjusting other knots. And Like I said, I have some crew if you need it. I just don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I am Trudy. You also enter the longhouse, and there's a tree right inside the door. What's <laughs> up, tree? It's not I am Groot, it's I am tree. Is, is tree sleeping? <laughs> tree is waving. Oh, he's waving? Darn. Because I was going to try oh, and do the Gallagher symbol in tree. Give tree said tattoo. <laughs> the hell is the tree moving for? What the hell? How tall is tree? Six foot. Oh, cool. We're the same size. I'm so just going to... Three, three six, actually. Six, three? Pretty small tree. <laughs> Pretty small tree. Oh, so it, okay. yeah, he's six foot. So tree, tree, okay. tree is said, is waving? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm just going to high five said tree. <laughs> and he has high fives back. And then, um... Where is my brother sleeping in relation to where I'm at? Uh, you spot him over there on the third bunk up. Cool. Is my metal arm wet? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I want I to. I love this. <laughs> I want to, as I walk by, just caress my brother's head with my metal wet arm. <laughs> ah! What the? F what the hell? More flickwood. More flickwood. I learned it too. <laughs> that is. Uh, you want another one? Head. No. <laughs> so then I'll find a bunk and. Go I will sleep. kick his bunk. <laughs> <laughs> when did this become a music? <laughs> I'm under it. I'm just trying and, to fucking sleep. And right it's before, right before I fall asleep, hey Xander, <laughs> what? I love you. <laughs> no, he doesn't. It's off, Felix. <laughs> you you hear chuckles from. <laughs> As people that just listen to you two yelling at each other, like across the rows. You literally picked a bunk on the other side of the goddamn room. I found the, the next bunk that was open, and it's on the other side of the room. It's on the other side of the room. I mean, it could be the other side of the room, not yeah, like this, it's way, the, the, this the, way. The hallway. That's fine with me. All right, stop it. Dawn breaks, light comes through the windows. Still quite early in the morning. Um, but definitely the people around you are starting to get up. I was like, how far is, uh, you said your bunk's just across from me? No, it's... Top. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a couple bunk tents <laughs> over there. Oh, like, how far is a couple? 40 feet. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to get up. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Before he tries to do it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just gonna get it as well. How you sleep, brother? Fine. I can't hear you. What? If I wasn't awake, I'm awake now. <laughs> Fine. Do I have anything I Good, can throw at one of them? Probably. Capybara. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't ca- throw a capybara. I will ride your capybara if you throw it at me. I don't care how tall I am. Uh, well, I'm going to get up and put my bedroll away. Okay. Why did you sleep on the floor? I walked over to you and said the that. The bunks just... are disgusting. That's why I slept as a tree. You realize you could have put <laughs> yeah. over said I get up and I'm ready. Yeah, it wasn't I that doubt bad. it would be that Perfect. much more comfortable. I was already ready. <laughs> I Those beds the are probably only like this thick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's fair. The floor was more comfortable. That isn't that crap hammock I slept on in the caravan. <laughs> Don't you leave me that look. <laughs> Hammocks are the best thing in the world. What are you talking about? Well, but it was a crappy hammock. It's because he was a crappy member of the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> and a showman. You two bickering brings hope for to. the rest of the world. As Azazel walks up to you all. I yeah, could drown him if you want me to. Yeah, a lot of people say that. <laughs> okay, correction. I'm my metal girl is back. Is up. this how siblings are? I. Yes. Do you have siblings? Yes and no. There were there were five of us. There was a lot of this. I have some half siblings. I have a bunch of dead siblings. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. How many siblings? I have a dead sibling. Alive or dead or half? We have something in common. Are we saying half alive and half dead or half sibling? Both. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I have dead half brothers. I've got twelve living half siblings. I've got four that are in a catatonic state. Um, we're hoping they wake up. They might wake up. Probably not, though. They've been catatonic since they were born. Oh, um, how does forced breeding? Yes, forced breeding. <laughs> I was the only successful. That's why I'm Azazel. You know, named after Azizel. the demon. Ah, oh, yes. The... the demon. I've heard of him. Something tells me you haven't, but that you makes me check? sad. I would like to do a persuasion oh, check. Go right ahead. I would like to persuade him to make him think that I know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. No, it was a 12 before I did that. I promise. Persuade. That's going to be a 16. You beat his insight. All right, cool. <laughs> he thinks you do actually know what you're talking about. Wait, uh-huh. Eight. Hmm? eight. eight. <laughs> um, you are not familiar with the demon Azazel. Probably from a different religion than one of the ones that you... Actually, follow. should I roll? See if I know as awesome? If you want to. Or, if you want. Yeah, fuck it, why not? I'm feeling like it. What is, what is my history, anyway? Uh, religion for you. Oh, religion? That works. I the one works. Uh, religion is in their learn skills. It's a 19 total. Okay. Um, you, oh, I told me. Yeah, that's fine. You have heard of Azazel. Um, I just felt like a, it. <laughs> uh, um, an ancient, powerful demon that, uh, um, well, started lots of wars, um, was said to have been around during the uh, creation, uh, said to be a uh, fallen angel, um, used to be a Valkyrie in, uh, yeah. in the highest regards, and then left for uh, the circles of hell. Greener pastures. Or blacker pastures. <laughs> Colorblind. <So. laughs> the slightly darker gray pastures. <laughs> I may or may not have found us a ship. May or may, oh, not, may, have. Or may not have. Well, we might be leaving today or we might be leaving tomorrow. Oh. So Just go then. Oh. Kind of how fast you want to get there. 
I would prefer to be away from where we think somebody. Alright. Yeah, let's sooner rather than Let me go later. see if uh let's go take a look and see if uh my acquaintance is at his ship. I'm with, uh, okay. I'm or actually can I see if he's in the longhouse still or you can start searching around for him. Um you don't immediately spot him. Okay. So there's there's probably a hundred people. Yeah, so let's just uh go ahead outside and see what we can see when we go out there. Okay. So you uh you head on out and as soon as you guys step onto the um outside the the warm sea air hits you, the the salt assaults your nose. Um, your eyes sting just a little bit. Um, and then you notice the guards. Ah, oh, crap. And it looks like there's an entire division out here. They are searching ship to ship right now. Do I happen to see? How far away are they? They're all over. The closest one is about 10 feet from you. Um, they, where are they looking, the close one? Thanks. Uh, they're just currently That's walking the across um, the, down the dock. Guards now. <laughs> yes, what can I do for you? I noticed there are more of you here since I went to sleep last night. Has something happened? Me yes, and I yes. We haven't spoken to you yet, have we? I'm afraid not. Me and my companions. Please, are please return to the longhouse. We will be questioning you shortly. I will. Uh, no, you actually did talk to us. You actually did. You actually talked to us before we went into the longhouse because we were out here a couple hours ago. I want to bluff him. I'm gonna need for you to make a bluff check. Is there any way that I could do like a seduction check in the background to like distract him a little bit while he's making his bluff check? <laughs> yes, you could. So my tag team bluff check on him. Sure. Oh my so it says you gain a bonus to the bluff and inside equal to your level. So is you know what? I'm also gonna distract. I'm okay. good. Damn, I'm gonna distract as well. Sexy tree? Correct. So I'm also going to use one of my bardic inspiration on myself. I'll be a freaking tree that's moving. I'm going to freak the hell out of him. Why not? 26. Uh, seduction checks here made an advantage. Uh, what? I mean, I rolled a 19, but... Oh, yeah, because of my amorous feet. Well... So it would be... Which one is it? What skill is for distraction? Streetlight. Uh, I mean, it depends on what you want to do. What are you, what are you trying to do? They are at advantage. Trying to make it w- to seem yeah, weird that the tree is dancing. Performance check. <laughs> oh, yeah, 21. Okay. <laughs> You and Oz are just standing there. Like, I'm just... gonna turn to Oz and... <laughs> so 12, 16... I have a 26. This is treason. <laughs> God damn, what did you roll? 19, <laughs> and I have a 7 to seduction. I'm, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I rolled decent too after I add up all my bonuses that I have, because I used the Bardic Inspiration, so give me a second, please. 14... <laughs> 18 plus another 4 is going to be a 22 to bluff. My f- I have 14 to bluff. It's not going to matter. They're just drooling over. Me? <laughs> this is the the back front, that's fine. <laughs> so can I get rid of my Bardic Inspiration because she rolled so nope. well? <laughs> I figured. It was worth a shot. <laughs> was worth a shot. I, uh, um... Uh... <laughs> Couple, couple hours ago, you said, um, yes, well, uh, mm, m- move along then, uh, huh. uh, did you, did, did we, yeah, we went through everything, everything you is, you not remember, or are you, are you, I, are you feeling okay, it must sir? be time, you know, I, I think the storm yesterday, <laughs> really, what happened was the storm yesterday, Change the salt content in the air, and now that it's back to normal, <laughs> your brain isn't processing it properly. What's that in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sausage? Because <laughs> I believe you said there was sausage inside, and we didn't see any. I, uh, um, I, my apologies, I... It's alright. Did I... 
Did I did I give you your papers? Did I? Your, you know what? You forgot. Yeah, you forgot. <laughs> Go ahead. I. Um, you said because there were so many of us, you had to fill them all out individually because your other compadres weren't here yet. I, let's see. I, but I'll I'll go ahead and take them. I may need to lie down. You know what? They have a lot of beds in there. <laughs> you need any help? You broke this <laughs> You know, if you're into it, she's got a beast too. Retarded. <laughs> Just roll with it. Uh, no. I, uh, here, here, here you go. Thank you. And, uh, um, and he hands you a, a small stack of papers. Look, there's about ten here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and each of them is a... <coughs> the bearer of this has been questioned by the uh, guard of Sipit in regards to the uh, murder of... Um, so there's six of us, right? Yes. Cool. I'm, I'm going to steal about three. No, you're not. I'm <laughs> going to give you one. I'm going to put the other ones away. You're not going to give the rest of us? No, I'm giving each of you okay. one, and I'm keeping the four, the four for myself. Oh, okay. Ooh, the tree has been talked to and burdened. <laughs> can, can we in, put in a note on the, the tree uh, and staple it to his head? <laughs> in regards to the murder of uh, Saipa the 63rd goddess incarnate. I want to just honestly... Yeah, it all checks be, out. I want to send the cord at some point just so I can stand there as a tree and just wonder what's happened, just see what happens. Just like everyone just be looking at the tree like, why did you bring a fucking tree in here? What did you, what, why, why are we in court with a tree? <laughs> Do we it was the root of the problem. Do we pot on wheels so we can drag the tree around? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Why do I remember one of our last campaigns he didn't yesterday? buy a pot so he could stamp he on it? Yes, he did. Yeah. I'll walk us towards the boat. Has the boat, that he, did the, is the boat that he went to yesterday, because it looks like they've already been questioned or not yet questioned? Um, it looks like there are a couple guards on the ship itself currently. And there's, I mean, there, there's Who's guards on most wharfs right now. From right now, I can't tell because it seems to be a little bit uh, too crowded as we get closer. Did the guard go inside to take a nap? I uh, headed to the office. <clears throat> ah, okay. <laughs> we broke that poor man. <laughs> <laughs> the poor man is going to cry in the corner for the rest of his days. I probably should have done an inside check on this guy to make sure he wasn't lying about this being his ship. <laughs> I just now realized that. <laughs> well, you're the one who's done it so far, so. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna start walking towards the actual ship and just I'm going on good faith that he's actually a crew member of said ship. He was tying it up. <laughs> there was a lot of people tying up the ships last night. So I was some random person tying up ships last night. Tying up the tying up the ships. You think you're the only good Samaritan around here? But I mean, Look I did here. We go good on there. Down. I did not have a single person question me, so there's a good chance that they might have noticed me talking to him. And all right, so you arrive at the uh, gangway to the ship. Um, <clears throat> the guard is standing at the bottom. Halt! <laughs> oh, I can vouch for the six of them. You've uh, you've been questioned, I see. Yes, sir. Yes. Your business on the ship. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're currently questioning them. Would you wait? Uh, do you know if uh, Skimmer's on the ship? Skim Skimmer? Spithers. <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing my I filled in Gwenaira last night. Exactly what happened. <laughs> she remembered the guy's name. <laughs> All right. I'm not part of this questioning group. I'm staying guard here. Wouldn't know. Good, sir. I didn't happen to catch much detail from the guards that questioned us. Can you give us any more information on the tragic passing of Goddess Incarnate Scyphus? Well, she was murdered. Uh, it's horrible. It, it looks like uh, somebody drove a knife through her head and then squished her face in. <laughs> 
I'm, my character's a laughing, by the way. I'm just laughing. <laughs> That's one I'm hell of a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> my character did say that. And I think, uh, Hail Sipit. Is that what we're supposed to say around here, guys? Hail Sipit. That sounded like a sneeze. One, one of her... <laughs> her esteemed guards have identified that there were six. There are five of us. That's a the uh, tree is still in the tree. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you can see, there's seven because of the capybara animal. So, so the, she's a valued member of our team. One of them was a tree. One of them was tall and blue. <laughs> One of them had black and red wings. No, that's not us. <laughs> it's a cop in appearance. Can I is, see your papers again? Actually, please. I would like to. Uh, I would like to transform right now into Azizel. <laughs> did, did the this is going me? somewhere. Trust me. I, I believe you. I'm really curious because now there's going to be two of them. Because he's right there. Did the guards see this is totally me fine. by chance? This is totally fine. Hmm? Did the guards like see, like just gl- just vaguely glance over us? Like I did, like did he ID out, ID me already? Or this is going to be a waste of magic, I mean, but it's totally nobody's been specifically ID. Because well, if I kind of I hide behind the rest of the group, I'm a shapeshift. The trio and you. He did see that you were. Okay. With, you yeah. can still shapeshift and go with what I'm going to say. That's that's what I'm thinking of doing. So maybe not his exact likeness, but he's a, what is his race again? He's a uh, half tiefling, half Valkyrie. So, so something along those lines. Okay. And then I'm going to transform again into a Deva. And then I'm going to transform again into a, what are you? Again? Um, human ice primal. Into a human ice primal. And then I'm going to drop all forms and go back to Felix and say... As you can see, um, it's quite easy for anybody to manipulate anybody with the right type of training. Yes. And you're not specifically making your case. But I think I am. Which, uh... But because... The question may, I see, may I see your papers, please? <coughs> I'll give him one of the papers. I'll hand over mine. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'll give him mine. Takes a look at him. Holds it up to the light. <laughs> Hands it back. Which guard question do you... Sausage pants. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the, the longhouse right now. He's in the office. <laughs> you might want to go check on him. I love how fast that came out. There was <laughs> no delay. <laughs> Fully, like, her, 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 fully loaded, holy damn, just doing fucking sausage. <laughs> no Jesus break, just full on. <laughs> I mean, I'll do a perform check if you want for this. I don't mind. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so, sausage press. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he left an impression on us. <laughs> what did you say? It was an impression on something. <laughs> if you go back to your office, obviously when you're done questioning the people on the ship here, you will notice that you have uh, one guard who has been temporarily immobilized. <laughs> Due to... He's dealing with a, an issue. Did you... From Metapod, one of our guards, guards and his no. hand moves towards his. No, throat. let's just put it this way: his body betrayed him. <laughs> Can I do another seduction check? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, have advan- an- you have advantage. Remember? I know. <clears throat> what did that show up on? Fourteen. <clears throat> okay. Twenty-one. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Sir, you, uh... Th- that. You seem to be That's asking. what happened to him. <laughs> are, are you okay, good sir? Is that a... That a... Can, 
can we have our papers back, please? Yes. Please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I trust you more or less at the moment. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of each, but... That's eyes. You might want to proceed out of the ship if you must. And help you, step out of the way if the can break. Thank you, You might want to go check on the office. Uh, you may be right. It, it might be a little <laughs> sticky. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and he's going to head towards the office. That was a good waste of six magic. <laughs> <laughs> Never more perfect. Worth it. <clears throat> we, we, we just... That's over the fact that the necromancer's doing more of the seduction than the bard. <laughs> I have a bonus to seduction. I mean, I'm like training her Her seduction's at advantage. I know. It is. <laughs> I just I, think it's funny. <laughs> I'm also, I am trained. I don't know if you're trained in seduction. <laughs> no, I'm tra- trained in disguise and performance. Yeah. Perform. The other I side. think that came from my backstory, so... Yeah. <laughs> I can the shit. Cool. Yeah, well, right. I don't need to give you bardic inspiration for your seductions. <laughs> Oh, this has certainly been an interesting morning. Also, well, well, she's a woman, of course. Look, we'll, we'll look around the. You can deck. put the part of seduction yourself for seduction. Like so you need it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a four. It's not four. Everybody is. Nobody's been standing out to you as the captain. Mm. Do I happen to see Skimmer? Spitters. <laughs> <Spithers>. <laughs> You know what? Steven. <laughs> Fred. Let me tell you this. The last campaign, every night time Nate gave me a name, it was always wrong. It's one thing that's not going to change. Here you go. It's not going to help. <laughs> I wrote it down for you. Now you can read it every time you have to He just has tattoos name. of all the names he forgets on his arm. Salute. You see. do see Spithers. Does it look like he's commanding said vessel not in the way of a captain, but like... Well, it looks like he's currently being uh, questioned by a guard. Uh, guard. Um, my pal here, uh... Spithers. Right? (laughs) Yes. Uh, he accidentally dropped his form. You questioned him already. No, I... I don't believe I did. I believe I'm questioning him right now and have been for the last 15 minutes. He got questioned at the longhouse earlier. Yeah, he, he was, we saw him. He, he specifically a... told me that he has not been questioned yet. <laughs> he was half asleep. But I asked him if he'd been questioned. <laughs> and could not present any papers. Oh, you know what? I must be getting confused with someone else. <laughs> I've with been asking you questions for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> and he's been answering all of them without any problems. Sorry, he's getting confused with another guy. We know. May I see your papers, please? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Round three, here we go. I will do another seduction. <laughs> your character's like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna leave these top two buttons undone. Yeah, <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. That's totally fine for you to walk around like that. There's no problems. Uh, and then most people walking around doing almost nothing anyway. Work, blue person. Nineteen. Does anybody object to me just He's intimidating half. the guy and being like, I'm sick and tired of being questioned today. This is the third time. Just get out of the way. Go, go ahead. Yeah, too bad. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. What is he doing? Oh, I'm glad I fucking did. That's a 20. This, be, this guy's going to have a real... He's going to have a lot of mixed emotions. I'm, I'm really scared of the tree, but she, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. God, why do I have a motor right now? I'm scaroused. <laughs> He's now uh, found a new form of dream <laughs> like That has discovered He's something. Scared arousal. <laughs> Man has discovered a new thing about him today. Hey, uh. I don't need to see your papers. Here's your paper. Zahans Spithers a paper. Come on, man, let's. My good, my good, sir. One, one second before you leave. You might want to check the office. <laughs> 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 sir, so you, uh, you are right there. <laughs> I see. I shall. Kill him a swallow, you bastards. I shall do so. so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, on to the... Just give them their papers and... 
<laughs> they didn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> We're just trying to leave fire! <laughs> and the guards pass the people they're questioning their papers, and they all... High five? High five, anybody want to high five? I was trying to high five the guards too as they were leaving. <laughs> Three guards to the office. <laughs> In this man of like five minutes. I feel bad for the other guards who are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They just see this Maxis exodus of the ship, and everyone is like, <laughs> the fuck? Well, I'm not 100% sure what you just did there, but d- d- don't ask. Don't ask. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> don't ask. I have a paper now. I was answering his questions. I'm... It was taking yes, too long. But... There's no need to answer questions. We know you were a part of the... I mean, second <laughs> of the queen. I'm perfectly fine with... Answering some questions. And you were talking to him for 15 minutes. Don't you think that was long enough? Well, yeah, sure, but he had questions. You're a man with a livelihood. Like if I'd seen people that look like you. Oh. <laughs> well, we're not... <laughs> Come on, man. We're not that bad looking. <laughs> we got sent into the office, please. <laughs> 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 We need someone to help, to help us with the boat. <laughs> That's how we're gonna get a free ship. It's all right. Don't worry about. It. We're just gonna we're gonna get to the ship. He's gonna have an issue. We're just gonna take another ex- uh, half extended half a day rest while he deals with the situation. <laughs> he said, "I need a half a day rest with this situation." Because you know this thing's gonna roll in that twenty, and that thing's gonna be coming like almost like his loincloth's gonna be moving to the side at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rolling a selection <laughs> Okay. But if someone wants to roll a persuasion check. I really feel like for I one, one, whenever you do a suggestion check, we should say, there's a wheezy right now. You better go to the office and check that out. <laughs> That's just your catchphrase from now on. You better go to the office. Are we in middle school? Damn. Yes, Hawthorne, what is your role for your persuasion check? 16. Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> not the best roll I've ever had, but 16's not bad either. I'll look over it. But I guess it certainly could have been any number of other people. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. While he's discussing this, can I do a perception check to see if his cargo has arrived yet? I mean, you just look around and the ship looks exactly like it did yesterday. I mean, my thoughts on when I tell the captain is like, well, they're also saying that a tree helped kill the the gods, so maybe they're just loony. I mean, trees don't normally just kill people. Says the tree. <laughs> he would know. I would know. I, I have, I have the known the tree for a while. You can, you know how old we are. Right enough. Right I've enough. known him for long enough. He's. Unfortunately, not killed a being in front of me. Unfortunately? <laughs> was but a wee sapling. He well, was. if he had killed something in front of me, I Actually, could prove his point wrong, which I do enjoy doing. Kill the oh. innkeeper. But nobody saw, and he didn't die, by the way. I didn't kill the innkeeper. Just keep going. The only person I killed was a Sawagan that was down 15 foot ravine. Nobody saw anything. Now, about torturing. His craft. Is the captain around? No, the captain hasn't come in yet. Was he in town? Probably. We'll see him when we see him. What time of day is it? Barely after dawn. How long does it normally take him to come around? Well, some of that depends on whether they can find the cargo. Pint? Oh yeah, I got a shot to some cargo. It could take what days. What if I told you that some of these people here were cargo? Well, sure, but you're not going to fill up my hold. No, but we can pay for some amount. I feel like you, uh, talking to you yesterday, I feel like your captain doesn't really necessarily respect you. Well, of course not. What captain does? So I, I, I see uh, your men here. They seem to respect you fairly well, right? Yeah, but the captain pays their salaries. And mine too. 
what if I could provide you with another form of payment from somebody who I can guarantee you would get you some coin? How much money are you talking? You just signed an agreement with me right now. I can get the paperwork started and give me a couple couple weeks. And back, we'll get you some back pay for you and your men. We'll get you a lot better materials for your ship that you can make your repairs and you could uh, become part of uh, possibly a bigger trade company. I'm not looking to be part of a trade company. They have too many rules. <clears throat> but you want to be governed in this general area. You would just have to fly a flag every now and then, and nobody would be here to govern that. You could do what you want. I can guarantee you that. <clears throat> Persuasion check. <coughs> I'm gonna be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. That's a 15. <coughs> I, uh. I'm not looking to turn tail on the cotton right now. What are you in such a rush for? I just have no more business here in the city. I would like to get going. Well, there's passenger vessels out there that. More likely to be heading out sooner. We've got to find some cargo, like I said. Could be the next day, the day after that. What kind of cargo you want? Like I said, anything going south. Give me a uh, couple hours. If I can find you cargo, we leave without your captain if he's not here. Fine. You fill my hold. I got it for you. Okay. So I'm going to go and Y'all heard that We got to go find cargo So we can get out of here Okay Okay so What are you doing? Are you sure you don't want to just try and find a ship That's leaving sooner? That's no because at this point we don't have to pay for this ship we don't have, might not have to pay nearly as much. And if we can find cargo, that's technically payment because he's getting paid to haul that cargo. Sure, but don't we have to pay for the cargo? No. Because it's trading. So it, it depends on if, it depends on how it, it, it depends on if we're doing a delivery contract or if we're buying the cargo and then selling it at a different port. Good point. I didn't ask that. I mean, what do you guys want to do? I personally would like to go find a passenger ship since, although this man does seem agreeable, it would be best that we leave sooner rather than later. We can keep an eye on this ship, and if it becomes the best option, we can come back. Okay. Well, plenty just of see what, right we just see what's around. I don't think it'll be very easy to find cargo at the docks. <coughs> that is uh, not question. Can I use prestidigitation <clears throat> to make him not blue? <laughs> no, that would be too large. That would require a minor illusion. Okay. Dyeing your hair, that's one thing. Especially because you are, with prestidigitation, you are basically actually dyeing your hair. Right. Not illusioning it, you are <clears throat> okay. dyeing it. Yeah, I was just trying to find a cheap way to get out of town. I think... I can't remember the word. Give me a second. I think haste outweighs price at this point. All right. I think we just we need also to make sure. Look at options, and if this is the best option, then. Okay. So why don't you look for talk to other captains, and I'll. That's fine. Let's go talk to some other captains and see how long it's going to be till we leave. Can we tell which ones are passenger ships versus like cargo ships and the like? Um, <clears throat> some some of it would be, you know, if, if it's got things like a crane on it, it'd be more likely this is going to be a cargo ship. Um, but well, us working at the docks, we would be able to determine where the passenger ships are, right? 
not all of them look different from the outside. Okay. Right. Some of them are still <clears throat> okay. the same ship. They just have... Sir, you wouldn't happen to know of any of the <coughs> things that might be passenger ships heading that way. Eh, not off the top of my head, just... We don't talk that much, especially not just getting in yesterday. That's fair. Right, well, we'll find something. Do we want to split up until the guards are gone? Because then we'll be less... Yeah. Smaller groups. Right, yeah. sit on the trip and shit, sit on the ship as a tree. <laughs> Can you cover your wings, Zazel? Pull them in at least. And he does fold them against his back. That's all I want. <laughs> and the cloak. I'm assuming he has one. Yeah, it's red I'm... and squishy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Under I can... his wing over his wings though, I mean. Yeah, I yeah. guess I can cloak my wings. I know, I mean, it's probably <laughs> uncomfortable. Cover some. Just for now, until the guards are gone. Yeah, well, unlike you all, I'm not ashamed of what I did. Neither am sure, I. Sure, but do you want to fight all of these guards? Sure. It's a waste of time. You said that to the guy who was literally <laughs> hired to kill. <laughs> sure, but Do not necessarily spend all day fighting guards. We're, we're not on the ship talking about this, right? We've slowly moved to the gangway. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. You are totally right in the middle of the ship. <laughs> He's like right in the middle. <laughs> what? What's going on? Yeah, well, know what? Now we're going to do an intimidation check, check. You're taking us with It's you. a seduction check, not a intimidation check. <laughs> Send him to the office. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to have the buttons ready. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Are we just sending everybody to the fucking office now? <laughs> I mean, we could steal a ship. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. I don't know how much we all know how to pilot a ship, though. Like... Do. Yeah, enough. We're gonna crash. Sure, why not? Let's go find a passenger ship. Yeah, let's go find a passenger ship. <laughs> you know how to chart the seas? I don't fucking know any of that shit. I would not expect a tree to know how to chart the seas. There is a lot more to it. That would be amusing to I mean, watch. Though. No, the one thing trees know how to do is treason. A one-man ship that would be oh, no. exactly... <laughs> no, never mind. You just ignore me. <laughs> so you're going to get a canoe? Yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> okay. Can I change my hair to pink so I don't look like the same person? <laughs> yeah. Strong. Can you do that for me? Can I change his hair, at least? Hair, yeah. Okay, what color hair do you want? I can't change your physical form, I'm sorry. Something that's not a regular color. Not a make it pink. <laughs> it's currently dark blue. Yeah. Can she flowers like purple or something? White would go good with your skin tone. I don't care. Make it pink. What color would like it's maybe offset just... the blue a little? Pink. I'm asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> to make it look less blue. Pink. No, that would make it look more blue. But he would look like my Destiny character. <laughs> There yes, we go. Exactly. Make it are, are, we're already walking off the ship, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to shape shift into a little darker skinned, lighter hair version, just same physique and everything, just so I don't look as recognizable. Okay. Yeah. You I used your two magic for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Because it costs two magic every time you shape shift. I mm. will. Uh, we'll change it to like a oh, ash gray white color. <laughs> I'll change my eye color. <laughs> I'll you. Fair enough. Noise. That's cool. Alright. You all uh, head off the ship and onto the docks. Are you splitting up and looking for. Yeah, ships? that's fine. Alright. You all split up and. all. Are you heading in groups or everybody for themselves? I think it was going to be like groups. Do we want to do, on. what, there's six of us, so two, 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 two? Yeah, that's fine. We can do two, two, there two. There are two people with ship knowledge here, so. That's two groups of three would be good. Well, I would assume Ozizel has some sort of ship knowledge, or no? Ship knowledge? Not in particular. All right. Isn't two groups of three is. locked? Yes. Oh, okay. We have two a two couple of three. legs. I, I mean, I've been but sailing. But how much ship knowledge do you need to... <clears throat> find a passenger boat. Yeah. True. Because we can always negotiate the price later. We're just trying to find something heading in the direction we want Groups to go. Groups of two, then. Yep. Which we should specify as southeast. a group. Southeast. Southeast. Going to Opping, you said? Opping or... Yeah. Uh, clo don't all of us ask for Opping, so... Map. All of us ask for Opping. 
southeast. Your group will ask for opping. Okay. Another group will ask for the port to the north. Another group will ask for the port to the south. So that we're all asking for the same port. Perfect. So that they can't say, oh, oh. three groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. two people yeah. each. Yeah, yeah, Six yeah. people were all asking for the same port. Because then we can still port. at least figure out where they're going. Yeah. Yes. Even if we say it's not that ship. Yep. Uh, Mirgon. Would Hopping be Mirgon to the south and then... Uh, Mirgon to the north. How far north is that? In. So we're... It's basically due north and a little bit west. So where are the groups? It's a, like, a exact so travel what is, what is the last city? Uh, Mirgon, so there's... Oh, Mirgon, I mean, Opping, and... Uh, Graf. 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 And there's the ports that are How do we want to split? Do Opping? you two want to split up? Probably yeah, should so be so together. So there's <laughs> Opping, you might kill and then each other. the... It would be really easy to find, though. Sure. There's That's Graf. Fun. Yeah. Did you want to go just south of Opping, or did you want to go... We'll just ask for the cities. I just say we go right? to the cities, because those are where the ports are, right? Yeah. I just okay. say whatever... We just ask for the port, and then we head... Just ask for the port, and then... Because if they want further information, be like, hey, we're either trying to head out of town, or out of assignment into a... Does anyone have preferences for their groups? I was going to roll it, to be honest. Oh, I was just going to assign people, but if you want to roll that... I people. honestly just stay by the dock and pretend to be a tree. No one's going to fucking notice the tree. So then we only have five? Five. So we can have a group of two and a group yeah. of three. Yeah. Okay, then let's not ask for the north. Okay. No, I was going to... So I what I meant is... Updated. We go... We ask for Opping, but we also ask for Rydemach, and then whatever is the closest port to the south of Opping. So we ask for ports that are around Opping, we just don't all ask for the same port at Opping. I guess that's fair. I'm just trying to obfuscate our path. Yeah, that's fair. So you have a map, so you should be in charge of one group, and you have a map as well? I I mean, I, I just have one as well. So if you so, want to look at mine, yeah. what were we saying? Um, Opping, Rydmacht, and is there a port that's anywhere close to the south near Opping? Um... I mean, you, you could just ask for ports in Opping hold. Yeah. Um, yeah, but because you also <laughs> technically wouldn't be going to Opping, Opping proper, but it, That's it's true, in it's Opping hold. Correct. There, there's in that general numerous direction. port towns along that way that would all be able to get yeah. you to anything in Opping hold. You could even head towards Grath. You could be heading any numerous places if you were okay. heading towards Opping hold. Okay. Would, would, How do we want to split up? Enough. We should at least split these two up. You want to just do library group, you three, and then when I run myself. That cool. works. Library group. Cool. Okay. Mm. All right. Go by the docks and watch different ships. See what we have to go get our happen. potted plant. <laughs> He's a mobile potted plant. We just pick him up. He grows legs, and then you get bent. He grows legs and walks. <laughs> There's actually five in a tree. <laughs> five fodder plants in a tree. <laughs> Do we want to have a distress call that we can yell out that's not help so that we're not... Obvious? Help, I'm in distress! <laughs> <laughs> distress! <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up! <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds about right, yeah. Okay. I think that's a perfect <laughs> distress call. <laughs> Sir, you you haven't fallen. Yes, well, I have. He can't do it. I'm assuming I can imitate some sort of bird whistle. That's a warden. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just whistle out one of my bird whistles that well, I know and use that. Okay, so does anybody else have prestidigitation? I do. Yes, yeah, so besides you. No. Okay, no. Then, never then mind. I can just use thaumaturgy to make it three times. Because I was going to say, do you Different have it? Different place of Yeah. Do you have thaumaturgy as well? Yeah. Well, so we should split up. All right. Okay, do you want to... No, because... Come on, we're not that bad. No, no, we're that no let's, let's just say, because okay. what I was going to say is, you if you are in distress, okay, so you can use thaumaturgy to make us whatever press, thaumaturgy press does. Digitation. And we can do prestidigitation. We can make a loud boom or yep. something along those lines. It'll work. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget to pick me up by the just ducks. I'll be watching all the ships to make sure. Make a loud noise that we How about a the lightning thing? strike? Well, yeah. we know Hawthorne, there's no lightning. Hawthorne, if something suspicious happens, let us know, okay? Keep an eye out. Yeah, it's a bit too hard to actually let you know. Lightning, if you hear lightning when there's literally no lightning around. Or if you hear this call. Yeah. Okay. Did you whisper it? 
No, but we can make it six times loud. Because yeah, really cool. I could do to alert you guys, honestly. Just yell. I'm a tree! <laughs> Jump into the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's tree season! <laughs> tree season! Dove season! Rabbit season! Dove season! Tree season! <laughs> It's treason. <laughs> it's treason. It's treason and fire! <laughs> okay, we split up. Yep. Alright, on our way. So hang on a second. Let me ask a question. In relation to where this boat is on the dock, the one we were standing in front of, what does it look like? Is it in the middle, and there's boats this way, and there's boats this it way? It's like the second one in. Okay, so... There's a lot of boat that way. You guys want to go to the northern part, and we'll head to the... Okay. You just didn't want us to all walk <coughs> in the same direction if we weren't actually... Because then we would be splitting up. Split up! Because <laughs> right. I said move. Just because you put a second person next to us. I'll try to walk with a... A limp. I wouldn't say a limp. What color? You made my hair, hair gray, right? It's like an ashy white gray. So. I'll act like an old man. <laughs> Okay. I'll walk like an, I'll walk at like twenty Stooped. feet instead of thirty feet. Okay. Or thirty five <laughs> feet, so and then I'll like it, still be a Deva. Still be in shape, but just be an old 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 arthritis ridden <laughs> Deva. You got some knee problems there, huh man? Can I only shape shift to the same size Do you as me or can I shape shift? Potentially, like, I have like I have the blowing glow plants that I have, and that's it. That I'm is gonna, his character. I'm gonna Whatever spend the money to shape shift from what I was. <laughs> I'm gonna shape shift to look like his grandson, <laughs> a younger a younger Deva. <laughs> I'm gonna shape shift into that. Okay, I'm not. I'm not shape shift, and I wasted six magic on something that didn't even work because you were just told the guy to go to the office. <laughs> I told him to go to the office. She convinced him. I am I am done wasting magic with this group. <laughs> I'm not. This shit's fun. <laughs> all right. So you all split up and start heading in your directions. And uh, at that point, we'll take a little <coughs> bit of a break and uh, we'll come back in just a little bit. Sounds Perfect. good. Thanks for watching our Pillars of Cypatia video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to check out our other campaign going on right now, the Library of Taba. We're a pretty great group over there, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in both places. Thanks for watching again. Tune in next time.